glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Oh... Uh, no, I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh... I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... why traumatize either of us further? I caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay... Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! Go. So, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Ugh! Lift's broken. Accidental magic's later. not all. I sort of... turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. But I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... venomous? Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Yes! Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Wow. Almost like you've done this before. So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment, and, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- You said you need to touch them. I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Yuffa! A little help would be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just- Take this, you dirty pal rock! Ah, don't touch me! Wow, Sindri, harsh words. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. Do you want my help or not? All right, all right. Yup! Ah!
Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Go. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all. I think it means. It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Frozen. 
Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? Is that frozen lightning? Yep. Want a closer look? So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. We're so close. <clears throat> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet vessel, I wish it did. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire! Sweet. Just keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. 
We can't just do nothing, and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option! Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Destroy the sonic piece first. All right, I just need to get a different angle on the soundstone. Jump up! Man, if Father could see me now, he would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. <sighs> Maybe if you listen to me... Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me?
guess I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Yeah. your senses yet yes i mean uh i'm not changing my mind ha you do have doubts huh. hey like you never do better than having regrets i'm not sure i agree with that but by all means keep going and you might find those too huh. yep that's the door Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. I should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Here goes nothing.
should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this. You would stake your life on it. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfarn. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. 
So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. <laughs> Good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Need a moment! I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way! He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Oh, come on. Do they ever quit? Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? Now? Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <clears throat> Sorry.
So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly. not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peen? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? I'm sure that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um. Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hmm. Hey! Don't go forgetting this, what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, 
From Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent you taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Yggdrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? How can I help? Ready when you are, father. And Atreus? Kratos? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. 
A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <sighs> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. We're not going to Alfheim yet. It's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just... ...spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Those? Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half-wise now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Gift of life, a gift in death, to smother forever. The All-Father's Breath. Her thoughts. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Nothing. Oh, 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 oh,
Mimir, I, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. There you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Dear, do you know Ratatoskr? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wished to talk about? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <laughs> well, stay safe, everyone. I am already here, Master Kratos. <laughs> Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am... here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could not? Already here, as it were. So, I you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop this stupid chime! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. I am already here, Master Kratos. as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, 
Light elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? I'm not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Living desert. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bye, Frost Eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just keeping no on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Ah, very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. 
cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Yeah. Oh, very clever. Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who freed the light. Once we're inside, is there truly no other way? Not like they're getting this much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. 
He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. God. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Oh. Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimble winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. <laughs> Thus, the Light Elves were born. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Maybe you can throw those back at him! Light up on the way! Huh! <laughs> 
on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. <laughs> Looking around. He does this sometimes. Ah, that's <laughs> mine. Carry on. <laughs> Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the them, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. I just like to be thorough. I see. By all means. Glad to win them. Anything interesting this way? Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. <laughs> You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. 
surprise. Esteem. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. On your left! want the souls and the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so good. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in elven. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Continue our set, yes. Hey, that looks interesting. Glad we explored. Oh, 
no. Great play! Back to it then. your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother. Why would I choose a favorite? I suppose I'll leave you to it then. side. You can really jump. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Fight over! Throw your weapon at it! Behind you, brother! Behind you! Bye. 
Noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. Than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish to try. And here we go again.
tighter than I remember. That's a fair few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. I'd wondered what became of Svartlyoffer. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There. The central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. some soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Yo. Ah. It's facing the wrong way. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work great. Well done. At your service. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. What's wrong? I 
I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh, they've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this Hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came. I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one.
There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss.
can't stop Ragnarok. But we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. So, what'd you see? A lot. Groa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife. Those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home. These will look fantastic in my storage chest. What about your son? What'll it be? be a Nornia chest down here. <laughs> Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. No! Down here. Find you, watch out! Jump up!
now before more arrive. Atreus. This way.
It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. No! Atreus! Hold on! Over here! You're chased! Hey, Tyr? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. want to do the right thing and according to prophecy speak no more of prophecy war will not give you the purpose you seek a choice only slaughter so what are we supposed to do roll over do nothing enough we will discuss our next move when we are out of danger Self assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting out. Can they just leave us alone? Yeah. On your left! <laughs> <laughs> 
go, let's go! Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. <laughs> 